No. Well, I, I do want to say to you guys, thanks for coming. It's uh, important um, for the public to have an understanding of what we do. Um, we've had good public involvement since day one. Um, and I think some of the discussion that comes out of that is, has been invaluable to the decision making. Uh, and I will say our group has, is a good cross-section of the folks that are affected. So uh, uh, it's not as near um, as big a deal to get an outside view because when we first started this and we had large groups, we had every view of the world. We had everybody from the, Sw the, uh, the Swanee Civility Keeper used, uh, River Keeper used to be on the, on the uh, board. So we had everything from that to the biggest water users in the, in the region. So. Uh, but we do appreciate public input and appreciate you coming. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Um, hi, I'm, I'm John Fordham. I'm with the Walls Watershed Coalition. We try to conserve the a lot of ponds with the Gucci rivers and all the tributaries. Uh, we actually represent about two thirds of the Swanee Basin that's in Georgia. The other third is represented by Save Our Swanee, Marilee Cola Egyptian is their president. She's here today. And of course, she knows the Tilla Riverkeeper. Which is the, so there's the three main watershed groups. I'm wondering if you might think of some more formal relationship with these three groups because we have a number of concerns. Uh, also, since you include uh, St. Mary's, you might talk to St. Mary's first keeper. Uh, among the concerns that I know that we've had to deal with recently. But I'm a little surprised that I haven't heard mentioned at all. I know you're doing long-term stuff, but we're having to find out some pipelines that are to no benefit to anybody in Georgia and would cause massive environmental destruction, 100 foot wide right away, drilling into the rivers, risking frack outs to leak into the aquifer. The one across the southeast of Georgia Peter Morgan out of Houston wants to put through a petroleum products pipeline, which apparently means things like diesel fuel across all the coastal rivers. They, the river keepers there have, I'm sure, still a river keeper who can say this better than I can, because they're in the coalition called Pushback Pipeline, which successfully got Governor Deal and hit Lieutenant Governor Cable to oppose it, and then the Georgia Department of Transportation to deny the permit. Peter Morgan is suing, but if they lose, then that was done for this other one, Save the Trail, uh, that's another company out of Houston, Spectra, and they're wanting to do a, a natural gas pipeline, which goes down into Florida. They're already sued at least three Georgia landowners to try to get Georgia in that domain, even though all the counties that they claim they might supply in Georgia have passed resolutions against the pipeline, as well as their cap seats. So, uh, the other thing about these pipelines, these won't be the only ones. These come through, the industry that's trying to build these wants to build as many new pipelines as have ever been built in history. They want to do it in the next decade. These won't be the only ones. If this doesn't go through your county now, but you may get one way. So that's an issue, and uh, I just want to say, I hope you like our new Lapa River water trail. We'll be doing it with the Gucci River water trail soon. Thank you. It's good. Thank you. Anybody else? Well, uh, we're eating lunch. We are. And everybody's welcome to stay and eat. Yes. We got enough for the public food. Yeah, I just asked you to let the council go. Yeah, please. <laughs> let the council guys eat. You guys are welcome to come, come eat lunch. And uh, I guess with that, we're adjourned.